Hello, uh, Scott here again. Uh, got a question from a student about inverse normal versus normal, or when the different types of questions we have about normal distribution. Uh, and the general rule is uh, there's two different types of questions. So we're either given information about Z or about the values and then asked to calculate certain probabilities. Or the other way around, asked given information about probabilities and asked to convert back to the original values. So for example, um, I, IQs, they follow a normal distribution around 100, centered around 100 with standard deviation 15. So if we want to calculate the proportion of people with IQs above 120, or the probability a random person has an IQ between 90 and 110, or suppose or if someone is considered gifted, if they have an IQ above 130, and we want to, the proportion of people that are gifted, then all of those are that first type. Uh, we, we convert to we convert back to um, the z-score and use the normal distribution table to find the probability. So like for the first one, we'd convert back to z, that's 120 minus 100 over 15. And 1.33. Then we use the table to find the corresponding probability. Uh, I can show how to do that in another video. Um, but the second type is, uh, let's see, if, if we want to calculate the 90th percentile IQs, like the IQ for which 90% people have lower IQs and 10% have higher, then, then we could look up the Z value for the 90th percentile, where 0.90 or the proportion is 0 0.90 below that, then use that to convert back to the original score. That's the second type. Or if we want the range of IQs, the middle 50% range of IQs, then that's uh, that's also that second type. Great, so hope that makes sense uh, about the two different types uh, of questions we might see. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. Otherwise, hope you have a great day.